Hello everyone, this is Jake of Ship from Philippines Lazada. On today's episode, we're going to unlock this modem. This is a modem Huawei version E5573 S-320. That's E5573 S-320. Okay, this is a smart bro. Locked by smart. And I'm going to use a TM SIM which is not accepted at the moment by this modem. So this is a pocket Wi-Fi, very good for students as well as working class. Let us take a look first at the steps needed to unlock your modem. First one, tools needed and disassembly of your unit. Second is connecting to the computer in download mode. There's a trick to that and I will show you later on. Third is unlocking your modem. Fourth, we will need to downgrade your modem first, the firmware of your modem. Then fifth is repairing the IMEI and web UI. Sixth is upgrading the firmware. And lastly, the seventh is connecting via USB and Wi-Fi. And of course, we'll need to test the connection of your modem through browsing a website okay let's go so now what we're going to do here is we're gonna disassemble this and connect this to the computer you need to have a pc or a laptop and you also need some tools very simple tools that i will tell you just now so aside from the modem the lock modem we're going to have to have a data cable okay this is not a charging cable this is a data cable it means that it could transfer data from this modem to the computer okay so data cables are usually the ones original from your uh, from the charger which came in with the unit of your cell phone or of your modem and next you need to have a tweezer or a metal material like a pin okay the next thing you'll need is a screwdriver this is a torx 3mm screwdriver and the end of this is like a flower let me show you this is the end of this and this is a special tools and this is the last tool you'll need so the next one will be the files which is located on our computer we will provide you with these files, so don't worry. We'll need to back up first our IMEI. It is a number written on the back of your modem. It's just underneath the modem battery. So it's a 15-digit code, which is which must be written down on a piece of paper or, for example, on this video, the notepad. Open your notepad and write your IMEI. Okay, later on, we'll need that number. It's time now to show you guys the files needed. So I'm going to click on folder E5573S320 folder. And there are five folders inside. The first one is the Balong tool. This is needed to unlock your modem using the USB loader. And it's in step three. The next one is the DC patch unlocker. We'll be using that in step 5. And we have here are the drivers. There are two important folders here. The folder 2 which is the H-Link driver and folder 3 which is the mobile partner. You should install that two setups in order to proceed with this unlock. The next one is the firmwares. We have a downgrade firmware which is used in step 4 and the upgrade firmware which is used in step 6 and last but that not the least is the Huawei default web UI this is the user interface of the modem this is version 17.100 used in step 5 
Before we begin our programming, we need to open a built-in program in Windows called Device Manager. Click on Start and type in Device Manager. Once you see Device Manager, click on that and a window appears exactly or just the same as this one. You are looking for ports now. So there are no ports used because we haven't yet connected our modem to our laptop. Later on, I'll show you what I mean. So basically guys, we have all that we need. We have the tools which are needed and also the files needed to unlock your modem. And now, let me remind you guys that this video is a do-it-at-your-own-risk video. Meaning, although this is a proven video, you must agree that before proceeding to the steps, you will not blame us for any damages it may cause your device. And before you proceed also, install H-Link driver and mobile partner setup so that you will have a smooth transition. Next thing is to disassemble this. So open it and then remove the battery. Okay, remove the SIM for the meantime. And there are screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm removing it right now. One, I have a magnet here for easier uh, safekeeping of my screws. Two, three, four. Five and lastly this one six so now we have we will have a op disassembled modem just put something here just to release the lock okay and then there's your modem okay the important thing here is to know where is the two points or the boot mode points jumper points okay the jumper points are this one okay this to this okay i hope you could see that this is how we do it this is step two by the way let's connect this point to that point using a metal wire or this tweezer and then this is a live data cable meaning it is now connected to the computer and before I connect it to the USB port I will short out these two points it's a bit tricky at first but you will get it eventually just short that out and then insert the micro USB cable okay when you insert it, you must not have any light on. Because if you do, you need to repeat the process. Like in this one, we have a good connection because there's no light there or here. And we're good to go. We are now back to our PC and we have here is our device manager. When we connect the modem via download mode, we will observe that there's a new list in the device manager. This is called ports com and LPT right there. This is the correct indication that you have managed to connect your modem via download mode. Let's double click on that and we will find out that Huawei Mobile Connect is connected. As a recap, we have already done steps 1 and 2 and now we are on to unlocking. Okay, we're going to use a balong tool here and let me show you how. We need to open a file called balong tool. It's on the uh, file we will provide you. Okay, on the first folder, there's a balong tool. Click on the 
program inside and scroll up click detect it will auto detect the com port and then click this point dotted points and look for the file which i will show you for example in my case the folder is on my desktop and then click on firmware and on the firmware click on downgrade and there's a usb loader dot bin click on that and then click load this is to program or unlock your modem now it is doing its thing there's a progress bar down below if you scroll down on it and you have you can see that it's now uh, finish or will we finish because the bar is at its full now observe that the device manager has moved and installed another item on our ports okay there are two mobile connects now and that's the indication that you have done step number three correctly good news guys we're on step number four now we're downgrading our firmware and it's easy to do that first click on firmwares and then huawei downgrade the first folder and there's an application there this is p711s-es update click on that to downgrade our firmware just click on that and an application will open up welcome to the update and click start and this will be a process that you need to wait for a couple of minutes until the progress bar comes to its end i am now going to fast forward this video guys and then after a few minutes i will come back So after 3 minutes, the result will be 1. Successful confirmation and 2. Error 21. Cannot retrieve user information. Both outcomes are okay. Just exit the downgrader. Then restart the modem by unplugging and replugging the USB data cable to the packet Wi-Fi for power. Then long press the modem switch for 5 seconds. Let's now proceed to the next step. We're down now at step number 4. So just wait for the modem to start for around 1 minute and then let's check on the device manager. So now we have 3 open ports. Okay, so that is an indication that you have done well. Let's open now DC Unlocker. This is to repair IMEI. Just right click on that and run as administrator. When you do that, this window will open up. We need to click the magnifying glass. That's a detect button. It will detect the modem. And write the details of our modem. So now it's detecting. Okay. We have here okay, our modem. And then IMEI is a bunch of zeros which is a damaged IMEI and the web UI is also damaged. First let's begin and repair IMEI. Remember that we have told you to back up IMEI. Just copy the 15 digit codes and then you need to put that inside here. This is the right format in repairing your IMEI. You just need to insert your IMEI number inside that IMEI word okay just don't copy me just copy your own IMEI and then copy all of that to your DC unlocker just below the dotted lines just paste it on there and then press enter a successful confirmation is an okay word and then let's again detect it by clicking on the magnifying glass now observe that IMEI is now repaired so the next thing is web UI web UI can be repaired by going to the last folder Huawei web UI and then click on that file update 
web UI 17.100 when you click on that double click on that there's another updater okay just click start and then wait for it to finish I'm going to fast forward this video in order for you to save load or data in a short while this window will open this is finish update successful click exit and then we'll check on DC unlocker if we have done right click on the magnifying glass to detect our device and then let's see if web UI is repaired okay we could see that our web UI is updated to version 17.100 and also unlock please take note now that our firmware is at 21.110 okay and now it's step number six which is upgrading the firmware to a much better or higher firmware this is e5573s update 21.180 double click on that to have this window pop up and then just click start to start the process now fast forwarding this video to save time until the update confirmation successful message so update successful press exit and you're done with step number six now we're going to step number seven which is connecting the modem via usb and wi-fi as mentioned earlier you should have installed these drivers the h-link and the mobile partner in order for your usb cable to connect with your modem so i don't need to install this because i have done that earlier on so i must say you need that and then we're gonna check if we did right on that by clicking on the network and we could see that there's a network 6 up there and go to your browser and type in your address 192.168.8.1 this is your dashboard and log in as admin as a username and also admin as your password So it's asking for me if I want to change that's later on okay so I'll skip that right now and then I'll go now to settings click on that and you could see that this is the connection we are connected right now I'm using the TM and the APN is globe and what I'm going to do is click on the WLAN, that's the Wi-Fi connection settings. The security is there. So you need to input some password there that you alone know and click apply. Now you could connect any device to this modem via Wi-Fi. The name is Huawei, okay, okay just like that. Uh, edit the password to the one you've set earlier in the dashboard and click ok now you're connected to your huawei e5573s-320 congratulations let's test now okay let's go to globe.com.ph and then all right everything seems fine okay if this video has helped you please subscribe like and comment down below Thank you for watching. I'm Jake again of Ship from Philippines, Lazada.